Moja Love has released a statement following the news that uh, their new presenter, Tolani Mapanga, uh, who took over from the previous Tolani, is now also arrested following uh, an accusation of uh, alleged assault. So now, uh, this has come as shocking news to the whole of South Africa where uh, Moja Love has finally now released a statement. And I'm just going to read briefly uh, what they say on the statement. Following the arrest of the new Sizoktola presenter, Olani Mapanga, on allegations that he assaulted an old lady during the filming of one of the episodes, Moja Love, DSTV 157, would like to put it on record that the presenter has admitted that it was a case of mistaken identity and remain, uh, maintains, rather, he did not assault anyone during filming, uh, unquote. And the statement continues there and they continue to maintain Dolani Mapanga's innocence saying that, you know, uh, the person who reported this matter was mistaken. He did not, you know, assault anybody. It seems to me as I am following uh, the both cases that, you know, as much as this is one of the biggest shows in South Africa, one of the most loved shows, because obviously uh, viewers did state that, you know, it was a progressive show. It seems to be a very difficult show for presenters because, you no, know, how do you get people to speak out and and uh, show you where, you know, the drugs are and stuff like that uh, without really trying to intimidate them. That's where my question is. So I think because of the format of the show itself, it's putting presenters in a very uncomfortable position. But uh, this time around, they're saying that, you know, uh, Golani is actually innocent and uh, the Moja love itself is uh, backing up uh, Golani Mapango and they're maintaining uh, his words of innocence in this one uh, right now what are your views guys what are your views please do share on the comment section below